Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen Jewells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this volume, we're going to review our mesh before we export it into ZBrush. We're going to use a little tool in Maya that will help us find all the polygons that have more than four vertices. We want to make sure we fix those. ZBrush doesn't like those. We'll then use the multi-append tool in ZBrush to bring everything into our viewport. We'll then look at the different polygroups for each of our subtool. We'll look at arranging these polygroups better because we're going to look to split them into their own sub uh, subgroups so that we can turn around and create more detail. We'll look at each part of the mesh and break it down as we see fit. We'll then go ahead and start working on creating some alphas, some mechanical alphas that we want to be able to use to add in some details. We'll use a combination of masking, deformation, uh, some of the different tools in, in the deformation tab. We'll test each one of them when we're done to see how it's looking, what, what sort of effect we're getting. We want to make sure the stuff is going to look good. And then I'll walk you through a very quick way to actually use 3D, actual 3D pieces, combine them together, and from that we can actually make an alpha as well. We don't have to just use masking and deformations. We can use real 3D objects to create uh, the masks. Uh, once we're done, we'll test it out and make sure everything is looking good, and that should be about it. Thanks for watching 3dmotive.com, and let's get started.